So in this example, we're going to talk about calculating electric field due to a point charge. So electric field, E field, due to a point charge, due to a point charge. So let's kick this off with an example. So imagine I have, so here's an example. First I will do an example, then I'll go for the general case. So here imagine I have a charge. Uh, let's say it is plus three coulombs and I go to a distance of hmm, let's see I go to a distance of 10 meters so I'm going to keep everything in SI units and I ask you at this point let me call that point P what is the electric field at that point what is the electric field at that point now notice at that point there's absolutely nothing I mean I have not kept a charge over there it's empty space but still there is an electric field why and how do I know there's an electric field? Because the moment I keep a coulomb over there, I'm going to keep a coulomb. So I'm going to place a coulomb. Um, my, my intuition about charges is going to tell me that coulomb is going to experience a force in this direction. And whatever this force is, is going to be the electric field at that point by definition. And we can calculate that force very easily because we know Coulomb's law. So the force acting on that one coulomb is going to be the Coulomb's constant, that's 9 times 10 to the power 9, times the two charges which we have to multiply, it is 3 into 1, divided by the distance square, that's 100. So the force acting on a Coulomb, on that Coulomb at that point P, is just going to be 9 times 3, that's 27 into 10 to the power, I have to cut two zeros over here, so that's going to be to the 10 to the power 7, so many Newtons. But since this is the force on a coulomb, we have calculated our electric field. So electric field at point P is going to be 27 times 10 to the power 7 newtons. And I'm going to indicate it per coulomb. All right. So that's how you calculate electric field at a point. All you need is Coulomb's law. So let's generalize this. What if I had a charge Q and I was interested in calculating at some random point P at some distance r from the charge q the electric field so i want to calculate the electric field at point p what would i do well that's easy put a coulomb over there place a coulomb all right now if this is a positive charge which i'm assuming then the elect then the electric force would be this way and the electric field has to be in that direction if it was a negative charge the electric field would be inwards because a coulomb would be attracted by that so whatever Whatever happens to a coulomb would be the direction of the electric field, okay? So the force on the coulomb is going to be, so this is the force on one coulomb, is going to be K, that's the coulomb's constant, into Q1 into Q2 divided by R square. But this is the force on one coulomb, and that by definition is the electric field at point P. So the electric field at point P is going to be K into Q divided by R square. And there we have it. That is the expression for the electric field due to a point charge. So it's very similar to the electric force except for the fact that you don't have a second Q. And that's because the second Q is 1. All right. And so this is having the units of Newton per Coulomb. Okay. That's all. See you in the next video. Stay tuned.